So when I left West Chicago, after serving for 10 years, you know, after being a social worker, I, I never thought that I was going to leave. I, I thought that I was going to, you know, retire from working in West Chicago. It was only because I, uh, this dream job came along that I, I decided to leave. And when I left, it felt as though I was leaving behind part of, part of me, like part of my life. And I didn't want to be done with District 33. I love it, it's, it's my passion, it's still somewhere I consider like home. Um, you know, I still have so many friends, um, my teachers, colleagues that I consider friends, Pat, former students, um, and so I just am dedicated to continue to come back and continue to serve District 33, but in a different way. I know that being on the board is a difficult job. It's not something easy to do. There's a lot of things that I'm already doing as a community member. I just believe that being on the Board of Education, it allows you to have a different type of impact, different type, um, it allows you to have impact at a greater level. Our community is a diverse community. I think that it's that's part of what makes West Chicago amazing. It's a beautiful community. Um, I've lived here since I was a since I was a child, going to school at Indian Ole. I was one of the only Hispanic kids in my whole class. And now you look around and there's diversity. We live in a global world. It's not just you know. Um, if, if our families wanted to go and live in a, in a more mainstream, less culturally diverse um, school system, they would move down the street. But West Chicago is diverse, and I believe that our board needs to have some representation of diversity. Parents' voices need to be heard. As a board member, I am going to push that parent involvement be our number one priority. We need parent support. We can't do everything on our own. As, in, as teachers, um, as administrators, you need the support of parents. And that is my number one mission, to make sure that that continues to happen. That we don't just say that we have open door policies, but we show parents, we express to parents through our own actions that it's almost even a requirement for them to come in, a requirement for them to be involved. I think that more than anything, the reason that so many teachers appreciate me and still remember me as a good social worker in their schools is because of the fact that I followed through with what I said I was going to do. I was professional in my interactions with teachers, always remaining professional, always believing in their professionalism. I think the same thing is going to happen with the community. The community is going to come to me with um, concerns, with questions, and as a board member, it will be my duty and my job to listen to those concerns and to those requests. I'm not going to be listening only to the teacher side, only to the community side, only to the student side. I'm going to be listening to all sides and I'm going to be making informed decisions to be able to best help our community. My name is Karina Villa. Come and vote for me on April 9th so I can be that voice that rep represents you in our community and on our Board of Education for District 33.